Hi, welcome back to my channel, Mrs. Shank. I'm May, and this is a Menu Monday. I honestly can't remember the last time I did a proper Menu Monday. Like, it's actually Sunday right now. I'm recording this on Sunday, but I will post it on Monday, and I think it's literally been years since I've done this. So, essentially, I will just talk about what we decided we're having for the week and then kind of show you the grocery haul of what I needed to do like what I needed to do that. So I start by going over what we had the week before to make sure I'm not like super repeating anything over and over again. But of course there are some things that people want repeated. And then the other thing I need to keep in mind when doing menu planning for my family is that my husband's gluten-free, dairy-free and nightshade-free. And I think honestly the nightshade-free part can be the trickiest thing to avoid. Um, my oldest doesn't eat meat or dairy, but he will do fish. And my daughters mostly just don't do dairy. I am gluten-free vegan and I have been eating that way since January of this year. So lots to take into consideration. Sometimes it is a challenge to figure out how we can all sit down to dinner together while clearly not eating the same thing, but also like not end up making three or four different meals. So I always start by getting input from everyone about what they would like to see for dinner. And then I take that list and sort out how to make some things gluten-free and nightshade free and then meat free obviously depending on what it is. So this week I'll actually start with today which is Sunday and then go through to Saturday. So tonight we're having a whole chicken with rice and carrots like a roasted chicken in the foodie. My oldest and I are obviously not eating chicken so instead I'm going to air fry us some tofu and then we can eat it with the rice and the carrots. And then on Monday I'm doing chicken alfredo so I'll cube up the chicken and then cook that for my husband and the girls and I'll make the noodles my daughters like, and then fettuccine or linguine for the rest of us. And then just when everything is almost ready, I'll be able to mix the Alfredo into the linguine to serve two thirds of it to my son and I, and then mix the chicken into the last third and serve that to my husband. Then I just take the rest of the chicken, add it to the noodles that the girls like, and then we all have some version of chicken Alfredo that didn't take like that much longer. Tuesday is chicken legs with rice and coleslaw. I'll make enough chicken legs for my husband and the girls. And actually Nacho really likes dark meat, so I usually mix some of that into his homemade dog food. I do a gluten-free bread crumb coating type thing on my husband's chicken legs. And the coleslaw is nightshade free and dairy free, so everyone can eat that. And then the rice too, of course. And instead of drumsticks, my oldest and I will have breaded tofu. So everyone's eating coleslaw and rice, but three are eating chicken legs and two are eating tofu four eating chicken legs if you count nacho <laughs> and there he is then wednesday is burrito bowl night so this is probably the easiest to do for a variety of diets just because i make a whole lot of everything and everyone serves themselves so i make rice which all of us will put in our bowls i chop off some lettuce and green onions as well i warm up chickpeas and black beans and i cook a couple of chicken breasts and some steak and then i also make like a really quick pico de gallo some yogurt based vegan dressing and sometimes I'll also warm up some corn for the kids. My youngest really likes this setup with um, like warm tortillas because then she can make her own tiny soft tacos. Thursday is a mushroom chicken which is very similar to the way I do chicken alfredo night. So I make the chicken and I make the mushroom sauce separately and then I also make a big pot of rice. And then when it's time to plate those eating chicken will have chicken added to their mushroom sauce and those not eating chicken don't. So that one is pretty simple. Friday is Chinese food fake out, which I'm sure you're familiar with the term when you make your own version of takeout. So I've done this recently and it was a hit. I made chicken balls and tofu balls and then I made orange chicken and orange chickpeas. And then I also did a broccoli beef and a vegetable fried rice with bean sprouts and a meatless lo mein. So just like when we order Chinese food, I make sure to make way more than we need so that we can have it for lunch the next day. And I'm not gonna lie, this is time consuming. It probably took about two hours, but then everyone had something that they really loved, so that worked out really well. Then on Saturday, I'll just do a super simple chicken breast, some noodles and veggies, and then I'll just cook the tofu the same as the chicken. So if I do like a teriyaki chicken, which is what I'll probably do, I'll just make a little more and then marinate the tofu while I marinate the chicken and then cook them in separate pans obviously, but basically in the same way. So now I'll show you what I got to like do all that this week. Some of the stuff I already have on hand, like I bought a giant bag of rice from Costco last week, so I won't be needing that anytime soon. Um, and there are lots of other things that we buy in bulk, like soy sauce and seasoning and stuff like that. So this is just like the need for this week. 
Both my grocery orders came at the same time, which rarely happens. I've got some stuff from um, Loblaws and some stuff from Walmart. And I also have one more order coming that's all the stuff that they had to refund or couldn't find or whatever. So in no order other than the way it is on my counter, two different kinds of cabbage to make coleslaw to go with uh, chicken legs on chicken leg night. And then that cantaloupe's actually like breakfast food. And then there's romaine lettuce here for random salads. Strawberries are kind of like a random snack, but I do try to do them with breakfast. Tuna was on sale at Loblaws, so I ended up getting 10 cans of tuna because that was the limit. And my oldest really likes tuna. Lots of chickpeas, lots of black beans for soups and a lot of kind of random stuff. Definitely soups. The black beans will also be in um, the burrito bowls that we do. And then the chickpeas will be, they'll probably be chickpea nuggets for lunch at some point, but definitely for dinner this week, they're also going to be in um, like my Chinese food fake out takeout stuff where I make like orange chickpeas. And then I also have some uh, celery and green onions in there. Just like those things go on basically everything. Oreos for the kids. Um, I've got white mushrooms and that'll be with our chicken mushroom night. So white mushrooms and then obviously the chicken for that as well. Um, I always use this kind of coconut milk yogurt. I put it in my smoothies. It's amazing. I also use it in baking in place of regular yogurt and in place of sour cream. We've got green tea down there, peppermint tea up here. All of those Campbell's uh, vegetable broths are for soup. I sometimes use it when I also cook uh, like noodles for stir fry. So those noodles for stir fry, but the majority of that will be used in soup. And then I've also got broccoli, both for broccoli beef on fake out night. And I'll probably use the rest of it like in a lunch or something. And then these gluten-free um, breadcrumbs will be on chicken leg night. This whole chicken is happening tonight actually with carrots I already have, sweet potatoes I already have, and some of that celery for sure. We always need peanut butter, even though I buy two kilograms at a time. Um, pretzels and also some hummus and then cornstarch. I use cornstarch and arrowroot flour in so many things now that I've discovered quite how versatile it is for like making coatings and stuff. So I try to always get two so I don't run out. Kielbasa is like a lunchy snack for the kids. Turkey breast is a lunchy thing too. Um, same thing here with the ham. And then I also do female bacon, similar things. Oh, and then smoky tempa. So Richard has discovered tempa. He loves them. I'm not going to lie. I absolutely love these too, but they have wheat in them. So I'm avoiding that. So I'm not going to eat those. Always lots of OJ. I already have, I think, one and a half jugs in the fridge, but I don't want to do shopping again this week and I don't want to run out. Fruit Loops, I now only buy them in the tiny box. I'm sure it's more economical to buy it in the bigger box, but I feel like the kids budget themselves better when they have a tiny box because I prefer to serve them oatmeal or pancakes or eggs or whatever for breakfast than that kind of stuff. Usually it's like a snack on the side in the afternoon. And then I've got, um, I think I already mentioned mushrooms. Yeah, for mushroom chicken. Lots of chicken legs, lots of chicken. I'm just kind of looking at like my menu over here. So some of that chicken is for chicken Alfredo. This is our favorite uh, vegan gluten-free Alfredo because it also does not have nightshades. I am definitely going to have to reverse engineer this because it's mostly just cashews, but it's really, really handy and really, really good. Um, also doing burrito bowls, which I already mentioned, and that is what this uh, meat is for. Some of that will be for burrito bowl for Chris and some of it will be for broccoli beef because I think he's now like the only person. Well, actually, Lynn also eats red meat. So there's just two of them that eat red meat. Uh, noodles for a fake out night and also like it's quite a bit. There's probably like four or more uh, like servings of noodles in here. Well, probably even more than that. Um, I tend to like take like, the way they come out is strange and then I kind of break them in half because they are also quite wide. You kind of see down there. It's like... One, two, three, four, five, six, six or eight. Mine's a chippy nut polish. Yeah, I guess eight servings in there. Um, anyway, so some of it's like easy lunch alongside chicken and stuff for Daphne. Also for Alfredo night, this is Lena's favorite like side noodle thing. And she's not a big fan of the other Alfredo sauce. So I will make chicken and then just kind of pop it in that for her. And she's happy and then noodles to go. So this is an example of what needs to be replaced. They sent spaghetti noodles which simply will not do for chicken alfredo. They need to be like linguine or fettuccine. So I went ahead and ordered those again. 
Um, tons of tofu because Richard and I go through a lot of tofu. Also, I'm almost running out of the mini chips and those go in, you know, baked goods, obviously, but also in pancakes and tons of almond milk. So the unsweetened vanilla is for my smoothies and then the dark chocolate is for everybody else. Um, I think I touched on everything. I think I did. I'm looking at like my menu on the side and I did talk about all of it. Yeah, the fake out night obviously will have like chicken balls and noodles and orange chicken and orange chickpeas, which I already went over all that stuff. So yeah, this combined with what we already have, like we already have lots of gluten-free bread, brown bread, white bread, like everybody has some kind of bread they like. Um, yeah, lots of eggs, like things like that. Actually, eggs, I did want to get more of those. That's another thing that you'll see later. Anyway, so this was the grocery situation today. Okay, so that's my menu for this week. I always love to see what other people are making. So let me know in the comments if you plan out your meals for the week and what you're having because I always need new ideas. If you like this video or found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, show some support. And if you're new here and you like these casual vlogs, subscribe to my channel for new videos. I also post a lot of similar content on my Instagram. So if you're interested in that and you're not already following me, I am Mrs. Mayshank over there. Thanks, guys. Bye.